And then during that year that that you were at Mercersburg, how did you benefit from the postgrad year? How did you develop as a player and a person? That is another great question. And honestly, I feel like it's one of the best places, institutions that I have been a part of and I can call home and I have a family there. I, I benefited because it helped me grow as a young man and into the man that I am now. Um, many reasons. One, uh, just getting away from home, right? Being on my own, you know, having responsibilities, being held accountable to make your bed, to shave, even though I'm not, <laughs> even though I don't have a clean face right now, but to, uh, to shave, you don't either, no. uh, to shave and, uh, you know, to, you know, prepare dinner or prepare the table for other people to wear a button up in a blazer, uh, you know, to, to attend an event, to speak at an event, to speak in front of hundreds of other students and faculty. So you really learn so many different aspects of life. Uh, number one, two, the connections, right? Building yeah. relationships with people from all over the globe. I mean, I had friends from Kenya, India, Croatia, uh, I mean, you name it. And I love that part about it because one of my hobbies is learning different languages. And so, you know, being at Mercersburg really helped me expand my knowledge in different cultures and languages. So that was fun. And then honestly, uh, the, the feeling that I got from Mercersburg was that, you know, if you come here and work, you truly can do whatever you want to do. If that's go play college basketball or football or swimming, whatever, if you want to be the president someday, like, Mercersburg and other prep schools, I believe, are the foundations. Like they have the setup to help you achieve your your lifelong goals, right? And so I felt that at Mercersburg. And and to be honest with you, the first several months I was there, I wasn't happy because mm -hmm. I didn't feel comfortable. You know, it, you know, it, you know, I'm used to being around a lot of African American males and uh, you know just a lot of basketball players, and I was just used to my routine in the city, and that was taken away from me. Um, but it was a new opportunity, and so I embraced that opportunity. And once I embraced that, I did have a break. I think when they when everyone got to go home for the holidays, I had one break, and uh, when I went home, I realized. I really like Mercersburg. And so I couldn't wait to get back. And so I got back and I didn't even need to go back home anymore after that. And uh, everyone just embraced me like I was family. And I really appreciated that.